Hi, this is Bennett Tomlin with Scientific Nutrition, and today we're talking a little bit about cooking. There's this common perception that cooking is this incredibly difficult thing that only a few trained people can do. But, in truth, cooking is incredibly easy, and is not just easy, but is almost essential if you truly want to have a healthy diet and lifestyle. So many people focus on difficult dishes. But instead what we need are small sustainable changes. For example, anyone who's watching this video, I can almost guarantee, has the capability of slicing vegetables. And if you honestly cannot slice vegetables, then you have the capability of purchasing already sliced vegetables. These, this is one of the easiest things you can do. So what all I'm going to do here is slice all these up, throw them in a frying pan with a little bit of fat, so I'll tear them up and then I'll have delicious vegetables, high in nutrients for me to consume. It's a simple, sustainable, easy change you can make. Okay, so what I have over here is my frying pan, a big thing of butter in it. People have this huge fear about butter, it resulted from the 80s from the big cholesterol scare and the saturated fat scare, but modern studies have shown that both cholesterol and saturated fat are completely safe. Saturated fat has no link to heart disease and cholesterol actually can help raise your testosterone levels if you're a man. It's a very useful thing. Now, I don't really have the time to fully caramelize onions tonight, so all I'm going to do is take my sliced up onions, throw them in here on pretty low heat with the butter. Whoops, throw some on the ground. Not the cleanest cook. Okay, so I'm just going to let these cook down for a while. And what this does is it really helps bring out some of the sweetness in the onions, and it's a very simple, easy, start to a sauteed vegetable dish. Now cooking these down will take mm, up to half an hour. Since this is the longest vegetable, this is the first one I will add. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those to cook down, I'm gonna cut up some of my other vegetables and discuss part of the reasons I chose some of the vegetables I'm using today. So, onions. Onions are very cheap and are in my opinion one of the best ways to add flavor at low cost to a dish. I'm a broke college student, I don't got a lot of money. So now, mushrooms. Mushrooms are very high in nutrients, especially phytonutrients, which is a very specific class of nutrients found in some plants. I personally just like their taste, but I know a lot of people don't, so if you don't want to include them in your dish, you don't have to. Now, these bell peppers I have right here. Bell peppers are high in fiber, high in a variety of nutrients, and are again, a great way to add flavor to your dish. We, the last thing we want is for our healthy food to be bland. Our goal is to make this something we enjoy eating. Because if you do not enjoy eating it, you will not eat it. So, by trying to add in something like peppers and onions to the dish, we hope to give it flavor that makes it something we actually want to eat, not something we feel like we have to eat. Now, the other thing is, I tried to pick vegetables that are easy to cook, because I'm not the greatest cook. Peppers, high in fiber, they, it's a little bit difficult to overcook them. Onions, as long as you leave them on the low heat, they'll just gradually caramelize. Mushrooms, you can overcook mushrooms, but I like them, so I'll take the risk. Other than that, I'm also having a couple potatoes tonight. I'm gonna show you how I'm preparing those in a little bit. Okay, so these onions have been cooking down for probably about eight minutes, which probably isn't actually quite long enough, but I'm okay with them not being as caramelized and not getting as sweet. So I'm gonna add in my mushrooms. I'm also realizing I'm probably making way too many vegetables for one person tonight, but that's okay. The extra vegetables I have left over will make a perfect base for an omelet for tomorrow morning. That actually kinda of worked out in my favor. I'm just gonna shove everything around in the frying pan. Then I'm gonna give it some time to cook down. Okay, this is also the time where I choose to put some pepper on the food and salt a little bit too. Now, I've had cooks tell me that you shouldn't salt your mushrooms before they're done cooking because it pulls out the moisture from them, but it's what works for me, and so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just salting and peppering this so that the flavors have some time to infuse in the different ingredients. Now. Some people are probably worried about the amount of salt I added to this. The idea that high sodium causes high blood pressure is an old myth that's basically been busted at this point. 
the only people who might need to worry are people who are already hypertensive. Okay, so don't worry about the amount of salt I add to anything. Okay, this is cooked down for like another five or six minutes, which probably isn't long enough, but I'm impatient. And this frying pan also really isn't large enough, but hey, broke college student, remember? Okay, so I'm adding in the last ingredient. Bell peppers, high in fiber, high in vitamins, high in minerals, high in nutrients, and add some nice, easy flavor to this. So now we're just gonna let these all cook down for probably another mm, 15 minutes. And then these will be a delicious batch of sauteed vegetables ready to eat. Now, I have a lot of butter in here, which again is worrying some of you people. So I recommend you read the link that will hopefully show up somewhere down here for you guys to see, or it'll be down in my description. Give it a look, see why I think having the butter in here is not at all harmful or risky to our health, okay? Good. Okay, so while those are cooking down, I figured I'd make one of my guilty pleasure foods, which is going to be, we're gonna call them baked potato slices, but really it's almost like, it's like a potato chip. So we're gonna cut this potato very thin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it on this cookie sheet right here. And we're gonna cover it with just a little bit of olive oil and a bunch of salt and pepper. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for a few minutes. And we're gonna have some delicious potato chips to eat. Now, probably not the healthiest thing ever, but potatoes are a remarkably nutritionally complete food. Olive oil is high in healthy fats, and salt and pepper taste good. So, I mean, on the scale of things you could be eating, it's not the best, but if it keeps you from eating something else that's more unhealthy, then it's worth it. So that's kind of what this is for me. I know if I don't do something like this, I'm gonna end up with huge cravings and stuff like that, so it's easier just to make this. So, I sliced up my potato. I'm just going to lay it out on the cookie sheet here. Got the cookie sheet. And I'm just going to take my olive oil. I get in jumbo size because I put it on everything. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over these. Whoops, that's a lot of olive oil. Whoops. Probably a better way to do this. I'll tell you guys what I think of it. Probably involves getting more stuff dirty. I hate doing dishes, so add some salt. Salt, salt, salt. And I love fresh cracked black pepper. So I add some of that to this. And that's it. I'm gonna throw those in the oven at 400 degrees for a few minutes and they should come out delicious. Okay, so it's not necessary if you don't have them, but I do like adding a few extra spices in here. I just have some purchased chopped onions and a little bit of flavor, some oregano, a little bit of ground mustard, just a little bit. This stuff can be potent. And then some minced garlic, which should cook down with the rest of the stuff and really provide a good flavor. By adding all this in here, giving it some time to cook down in there, it should really help raise the profile, the flavor profile of this dish. And these spices are a little bit pricey to start with, but they last a long time. It makes it really easy to add flavor to any dish you're cooking. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, take out my potatoes, cooking along quite nicely, and I'm just flipping them quick. If I don't need to, I'm just optimistic. They'll cook a little bit better. I'll flip them and cook them on both sides. This is much harder than it looks. I'm just flipping them all. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra salt and pepper to this side, put them back in the oven. It took about six minutes to cook this side. They're not quite as cooked as I like, so I think it'll take about eight minutes to cook on the other side, and then these will be ready to eat. And my vegetables should be coming out right about that same time. So everything should work out quite well tonight. Now, often it doesn't for me. I end up eating my meal in like courses, because I'm really not that great at the whole timing part of this. Haven't had enough practice yet with that. So, just crack a little more black pepper on there. And throw this back in there. And you can also see the vegetables are really starting to cook down nicely. So the 
this whole thing should be ready in just a few minutes. Which gets me excited. Okay, so these vegetables are cooked well enough for me. How well you like them cooked will be up to your preference. One of the tricks I've had to learn when I'm cooking for myself here at college is that often it's easier to make more than you need and then save it so that early in the morning between classes when you're rushing for lunch or just too tired to cook you already have healthy options prepped and ready to eat. So I've got my serving of sauteed vegetables right here and I have some more over here I can use as a base for a whole bunch of other meals. Can make an omelet with it, could throw basically any protein with it, have basically a meal ready to eat. Doing this helps me save time in the kitchen, which for me is perfect because I am not that great at cooking. Okay, the potatoes should be just about ready, so let's take those out. Smell good. Yep, there we go. So we have some a healthier variation of potato chips, my very own potato crisp. Put these with the veggies and any protein you want. A chicken breast, I'm doing ham steak tonight. Let your imagination go free. Fish should be good too. Fish is high in omega-3 fatty acids. Take the time, find what works for you. And here we go. This is the finished product. Simple, cheap, can be made by a college student in a college apartment kitchen on a college student budget. And it's delicious for anyone to eat. I highly recommend this. Try it out, change the seasonings, change the vegetables. The easiest way to learn how to cook is to try different things and screw up a lot. It's what I've done and this is what's working for me. Please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and please check out my website. Thank you guys very much.